Meet Caden, Maisie, Bolu and Millie. We've been following them across the series as they show us what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. So, for one more time, let's catch up with 12-year-old Maisie. Hello. Hello. She has celiac disease and found out that some gluten was sneaking into her diet, so there's still a bit more work to do. I'm going on my, on my adventure trip with my class tomorrow for the week, and I'm really excited, but I'm also quite nervous, obviously, because of my like meal times and stuff. <laughs> To put Maisie's mind at rest, the kitchen staff on the adventure trip invite her in to show her the precautions they've taken to keep gluten out of her food. We keep that corner for all the gluten-free and the gluten-free toaster. So these two shelves are where we keep the gluten-free, all labelled so nothing gets put in that shouldn't be there. I'm feeling a lot better and a lot more confident about how my food and eating is going to be this week. Great news, Maisie. Now you can enjoy it. It's fun, but it's hard. Following my story. Bye. Bye. We've also been following 11 year old Caden. He has cystic fibrosis, and last time he was preparing to take more control over his diet and medication when he gets to high school. I need to know how much fat's in my food so I can take tablets. Time for some practice at home. It says fat per 100 grams is 30.5 grams. So, first. Five times something would equal 30, that's six. But per bag, it's four grams. So this would be one tablet. He's cracked it. It looks like Caden will be fine at high school. Best of luck, fella. Thanks for following my story. Bye. Another one of our ouch patients this series is 10-year-old Millie. <laughs> We've seen Millie having physio and her weekly injection at home to help with her polyarticular arthritis. Hi again, everyone, and today I'm going to be going out on my bike. My physiotherapist, Leona, said that I should start riding my bike because it helps my arthritis. When I'm running, it hurts, but when I'm on my bike, it just doesn't hurt. I just feel free because, like, I'm not having to be in pain and I'm just like, yay, I get to go fast for once. OK, bye, everyone. Good luck for the future, Millie. Bye. Our last ouch patient to catch up with is Bolu, who has sickle cell anemia. Last time, Bolu had to go into hospital, but luckily she's now home again. And when she's feeling better, she likes to get out and about. Hi, everyone. This is my mom and my brother. You might not have met him before, but he's my brother. And um, today we are in London to see some family and we're also going to see some sights. So hopefully they're going to be amazing. I can see the river and the eye. Oh my goodness. Hey, look at that. It's Big Ben. It's so big. No wonder they call it Big Ben. Because it's a big city, it's going to be a lot of walking. I have to be careful that I don't get too tired. I have to like make sure I'm taking rest in between because if I was to get too tired, if I'm not careful, it would turn into a crisis and I'd have a tap and that means I'd have to go into hospital again and nobody wants to go into hospital. That's the end of my sightseeing today, guys. Got to make sure I don't get too tired. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks, Ouch Patients. Here's Rio, Amelia, Phoebe and Alicia. We've been following them across this series and seeing what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. We're checking in with them all one last time. Let's start with Rio. Hello. Rio has a prosthetic leg and he's mad about sports. Last time we saw him training for the Lin Power Junior Games. I can't wait to run on my new blade. It's going to be amazing. At the Games, Rio gets to compete in loads of sports, including sitting volleyball, football, and his new favourite event, running with his brand new blade. When I run on my blade, it makes me feel like I've got spring. It's race time! On your mark. Set. Go. Good job, Rio. The race was very good. I've had loads of fun meeting new people and doing lots of activities. Thanks for watching my story. Bye. Thanks, Rio. We've also been following Amelia and her back. Amelia has scoliosis, which means she has a curved spine. And to 
today we're catching up with her as she makes her latest vlog with the help of her mum. Hello everybody. Mm -hmm. I do my vlog to help other children with the same condition as me. I've spoken before about not being able to do much activities, but recently I have joined a tennis club. The videos that I have done are about how to cure hospital boredom and reviews of massage oils. I've had comments from Australia and America. All these comments make me want to do more because I know it helps. Brilliant. Thanks for following my story. Bye. Bye, Amelia. Thank you. Next up, it's Alicia and her troublesome tummy. Hi. Alicia's inflammatory bowel disease has led to her not really wanting to eat until now. Today I'm going to have a picnic at the park with my friends. And when it comes to picnics, there's not much that can top a chocolate dessert. Mm, it smells nice. <laughs> well, we're going to make it from the special milkshakes that I've been given from my dietitian. These milkshakes help Alicia gain weight and boost her energy. I think they look really delicious and I hope my friends enjoy them. Well, the proof is in the pudding. It's great. It's really good. Thank you. I really like playing with my friends and doing lots of different activities. Because she's taking her new energy drink, she can play with her more. Thanks for following me on my journey. Bye. Bye, Alicia. Thank you. Nice outface. Here's Phoebe, our last outpatient. When Phoebe was younger, she had to have a liver transplant. <laughs> and she's been training for the British Transplant Games and today's competition day. The Games is for anybody who has had a transplant, even if you're a donor. Doctors can transplant part of a liver as it has the ability to regrow to its full size. A man who died to give me his liver, I got a sixth of it and the rest went to my liver sister, who is called Bonnie. And before she competes, Phoebe receives a special message. Hi, Phoebe. It's your little liver sister in Florida. I'm just calling to wish you the best of luck. It makes me so happy and so proud of you. We have this lifelong bond. Thanks to the generosity and donation of a liver by a wonderful family. I'll be thinking of you. Mm -hmm. Bonnie's message must have inspired her because Phoebe powers through her tennis. Winning was Phoebe. Congratulations. Well done. Well played. So I'll go to my first time. That's good. Next up, table tennis. Phoebe. Double gold medalist. Awesome. Thanks for following my journey. Bye. Bye, Phoebe. And a big thanks to all four of you. You've been amazing ouch patients.